Hey y'all, welcome to today's video. I just had to intro it because obviously I've already applied the products. You already know what I use because you read the title and you already clicked on it so I know that you're interested. So sit back, relax, and let's get into how I got here. All right, so I got my 808 base gel and I got my crazy sexy curl. Let's see if we can make these shapes. Y'all know typically I do my wash and goes in the shower but I was way too lazy to set up in there today. So we're just gonna shoot for the stars and hope we get some good results here in this good old room. I have my spray bottle because I just feel like this is gonna work best on soaking wet hair. So we are going to try and reimagine that we are in the shower with the water pouring, okay? Are you there? Okay. So we are just going to soak it down. I should probably get a towel. Yeah, let me go ahead and get a towel, hold on. <clears throat> okay, try this again. That should be good. Let's pray this pump is not like the other one and it take me forever in a day. Okay, no, here it come. Ooh, very snot-like consistency. Do you see it? Okay, oh, man, it didn't even separate as it was running down my hand. It has a like a natural scent to it, like a like a green earthy scent, not overwhelming whatsoever. But we are just going to squeeze that into the strands. My hair was detangled, fully detangled in the shower, but I do have um I have my brush here just in case I need to do it again. Let's also, let's just use another half a pump. I don't wanna be too product heavy, but I don't know. Like I was expecting a little more, a little more length. Let's really work this in. Now don't judge my coils, okay? They do look a little looser, but y'all know, this is my first wash day back from a silk press, so. We're not even gonna worry about it. Okay, so that is what we are looking like with just the 808. I'm going to take mm, maybe like a, okay. We took a whole pump of the Crazy Sexy Curl and we're just gonna go right on top of it. I hope that's not too much. Oh, I forgot how fragranted that was. But let's see what it do make sure we're getting really close to the roots i don't really want to put too much product on my scalp but i do want to get it close enough and i don't manipulate my curls i just kind of let it do what it wants to do and in that aspect but this is what we are looking like so while I continue to go through this and put it on my hair, I will give you all, you know, all the details on the 808 and kind of refresh your memory on the Crazy Sexy Curl in case you haven't seen my other videos on it. And we're gonna just work through this wash and go, okay? Okay. So to kick things off, I'm just gonna read exactly what 808 is directly from the dude's website. It says, for juicy, shiny curls that crave extra length, reach for our 808 base gel. This medium hole gel serves as a base layer, locking in long lasting frizz protection, definition, and bounce. Excellent for wash and goes, twist outs, and TWAs. I miss having a TWA sometimes. A few key ingredients are honey, slippery elm, marshmallow root, and aloe. And I also just wanna note that there is glycerin, but I feel like that should be expected. Now for the instructions. Smooth through wet hair with fingers in small sections and allow curls to clump together. Use alone or top it off with a small amount of mousse def texture foam. For bouncier results, dry sections of hair using a diffuser until the hair is 100% dry. Fluff as desired. Pro tip, apply 808 base gel first when layering other products. 
do not apply oil to the hair before applying the 808 base gel and as my topper i decided to go in with crazy sexy curl just because when i use mousse def it almost feels like i'm just putting water on my hair like mousse def yes it defines my hair but it doesn't give me the hold that the crazy sexy curl does and i kind of felt like these products were formulated to work really well together because they both contain honey and aloe as far as the application goes, I definitely think it was better to work in small sections. I don't know if you can notice, but I started using kind of bigger sections in the bag and I was like, um, I don't really like how this is looking. It didn't really give me as much definition, so smaller sections was definitely the move. In hindsight, I feel like I probably should have shingled my hair a little more. I'm so used to using like heavier products and gels that allow my curls to pop and kind of like fight through and that gives me a little more elongation. I feel like with foams, I probably should try and shingle more often and I would get a more desired look that way, I think. What do y'all think? Leave it in the comments. Okay, I have to say this really quick because I don't want my hair to air dry. I wanna actually diffuse it, but I'm gonna go ahead and tell you how I feel about these products before I even really get into them. I feel like it has a really soft hold. Like, I like products that I can feel on my hair that really like weigh my hair down. So I'm really, really, really interested to see what this wash and go is gonna give. But yeah, okay, I'm gonna go now. Y'all enjoy the rest of the video. And if you like it, don't forget to hit subscribe. Okay, so here's my hair completely dry, not stretched, just kind of, I kind of like lifted it in some areas and like tried to like give it like a shape, but um, here are my thoughts, okay? Um, I don't even know if using this in the shower would have changed anything. Actually, let me start by saying that I should have known that this wasn't gonna give me the type of hold that I really like. Like I keep having the hope that using a foam or a mousse on top is going to give me results that I like like, but they don't. And also I was following the directions. Anytime I try a product out, I try my best to use as directed. And it clearly stated that you could that you should use the base gel first and then go over it with the foam. It did say a small amount, but I don't have any flakes. So I don't think that it is about the amount that I use. Like it dried down just fine. And before anyone comes for me and tries to correct me and said that the bottle says most deaf, I followed the dude on Instagram and they literally posted that yes, you can use the crazy sexy curl and get the same results. So I prefer the Crazy Sexy Curl if I'm going to use one of their foams. This was a brand new bottle, like I had just purchased it, but um, it just it just doesn't give me the type of wash and go that I desire for my type textured hair. But I will say that I do like the definition, like, the coils are defined. Like we're gonna ignore the stragglies in the front, you know, whatever. But I do feel like the definition is good. Um, I, I could see it working, especially on someone that has even just a slightly looser curl pattern. Like my hair is just really dense in like the top and it just has too soft of a hole for me, in my opinion. And when I sleep on this, it's just going to get smashed. And when I try to stretch it, I feel like it's just going to like frizz it out. Please excuse the gel photo, but it in fact did not frizz when I stretched it the next day. I still didn't like it. So, I mean, this is literally like a one day wash and go for me. Like I could use it like early in the morning and like have somewhere to go and like maybe it would be a wash and go combination that I would use in the future, but this just wasn't a top anything for me. And it says that this has a medium hole, but I I mean, I can take medium. I will give medium, um, but 
nah i don't think this was a bad product at all of course i want to try it underneath one of my favorite harder holding gels and just to compare it to uncle funky's daughter because you know that's kind of where i set the standard and um i mean i've had bad results with that too y'all know it took me quite a while to actually start liking that product so i don't think this is a bad product in general like i just have to try it again this is just a first impression based on the directions given to me and now that i followed the directions i feel like i can play with it a little more and accommodate my hair and texture and needs comment down below if you have already tried this out um what combination did you use did you follow the instructions did you like it how did your washing go last like give me all of those details so i'll know what to try going forward okay bye bye